it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're doing some problems on combining. Huh, what does that mean? Well, when I say problems, first of all, I'm talking about word problems. I've got to tell you the truth. When I talk to many students that I work with, and I ask them, what don't you like about math? The first thing that usually comes out of their mouth, word problems. But we're going to break word problems down for you easy today. So when you see them, you're like, no big deal. I know how to just zoom in on focus on the numbers and still understand what's happening in the problem. So let's get to it. We're talking about combining. So take a look. I don't know by now you might know my daughter's name is Sydney and she loves Disney. So let's say Sydney had 27 Disney pins. You know, you go to the parks, you get these pins, you can trade pins with people. It's a whole lifestyle. All right, she found 13 more. She'd be very excited about that, I tell you. But she now has a total of 40 pins. So our question to you is, what kind of pattern is this? Well, let's take a look. Sydney had 27 Disney pins. So we start off by saying she had some pins. So some. Then she found 13 more. So she added some more pins. And now she has a total of 40. That equals the total. So we call sum plus some more equals a total. We call that an addition pattern. Because we are adding something to something that was already there. Addition pattern. Now that you have been introduced to addition pattern, let me give you a, a few word problems. And I'm going to show you how to attack the word problems that have addition patterns. I'm going to share with you a surefire method to know how to attack any word problem. Here it is. It's called, please eat sugar cookies, right, Larry? So when you say it with attitude, it sounds like this. Please eat sugar cookies, right, Larry? Because he's eating the sugar cookies wrong. Just look at him. He's eating them wrong. So there must be a right way to eat them. What do I mean by this? This is a mnemonic device, which is we are going to use these words to remind us of how to attack word problems. Ah, let me give you a word problem and we will apply, please eat sugar cookies right, Larry, to the word problem. On Monday night, my DVR had 26 shows. By Tuesday night, my DVR had a total of 37 shows. How many new shows were taped throughout the day on Tuesday. The first thing that we do, we start with the P in please. P stands for pattern. So remember the DVR had 26 shows and then there were a total of 37. So that fits our addition pattern. Watch, if we had some, which was 37, plus some more, we don't know what that some more is, but it equals a total of 37. That fits our addition pattern. So the P stands for pattern. Figure out the pattern that you're working on. We're working on an addition pattern. Let's go to the E, the EAT. E stands for equation. Which means we're gonna take our information from the word problem and we're gonna turn it into an equation. Let's do it. So when we say there was some, that means we had 26 shows to start. 26 shows plus, we don't know how many shows got taped during the day. We don't know what the sum more is. So we're going to use a variable for that. Let's call that X. And then at the end, there were 37 shows. So the total was 37. So there's our equation. The E is for equation. The sugar cookies stands for solve and check. So now we're going to solve our equation and then we're going to check our answer. So 26 plus X equals 37 is a missing problem in addition. And you know how to do that. A missing problem in addition means, or missing number in addition, means that we're going to use the opposite. We're going to use subtraction to find the answer. So our answer is going to be 37 minus 26, which is 11. So X is 11. 
But we're going to check our answer first by putting 11 back into our equation to see if it works, which means we're going to do 26 plus 11. Let's do it on the side here. 26 plus 11 is 37. And boom, they equal. So we're good with the check. Sugar cookies, solve and check. And the last one, right, Larry, stands for review and label. So we go back and we review our problem to make sure the answer we came up with, it's, it sounds okay, like it makes sense. And let's see, it, does it make sense that we taped 11 new shows during the day on Tuesday? That sounds about right. And now we label, the L is for label, 11 new shows is our label. And that's it. If you can use, please eat sugar cookies right, Larry, you will know how to attack the word problems. Let me give you another one. There were spoons to clean in the sink at camp. After lunch, 122 campers each left a spoon, and now the total is 401 spoons. How many spoons were there to clean before lunch? Let's break it down. Let's start with, please, find the pattern. So there were some spoons. We don't know how many there were, but then some more came, right? There were some campers who came, 122 campers. And then there was this total at the end of 401. So what kind of pattern is that? Some plus some more equals the total is an addition pattern. So that's the first part. The P is for pattern. The E is for equation. I've started to write one here. So we don't know what the initial was, so we're going to make that the variable. Let's make it uh, an S for spoon. We added 122 more spoons, and now we have a total of 401. So E is for equation. Now we have an equation. Sugar cookies. Sugar cookies is really solve and check. So let's solve this equation and check our answer. Missing number in addition means we do the opposite to find it. We subtract. So let's subtract 401 minus 122, and we have to borrow 972. So it says that S equals 279. I'm going to check my answer by putting 279 back in for S, which means I'm going to do 279 plus 122. I'm going to do it over here this time. 279, 122. Let's add them. 9, 10, 401. And that is our total, so it checks out okay. Our last step, review and label. So does it make sense that there were around 279 spoons in the sink? Then they added 122. Now I'm up to 401. Yeah, that makes sense. We're just doing a quick check to make sure there isn't some crazy outlandish result. And we're going to label it. The S stood for spoon. So our answer is 279 spoons. And that's it. You just learned how to attack a word problem with an addition pattern. Those are problems about combining. Not too bad, right? All right. So you don't hate word problems anymore. At least I don't think you do. Okay, you still do. All right, well, keep watching. I'm sure there's going to be some other things that you'll want to hate more than this. All right, it's Nicole. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.